I'm gonna make a really delicious breakfast this morning and I want you to pay close attention because it's gonna be very, very difficult. I'm kidding, I'm gonna make it quick, I'm gonna make it simple, and I'm gonna make it easy. I'm gonna do poached eggs two ways over nice toasted English muffins with a little bit of white cheddar cheese. That's it, it's as simple as that. So I'm gonna start with just taking a English muffin, I'm gonna get that in the toaster uh, before we get going with the eggs. And then I wanna show you two different ways that I know how to poach an egg. Unless you know how to poach an egg a different way, you can tell me. Uh, so we're gonna start with just getting a pan, a non-stick pan on a very low to medium heat. One of the keys that I have learned is that anytime you are cooking eggs, do them low, do them slow. That's the easiest, best way to do them. So I am also gonna need a lid for that, so we're gonna keep it on there. That's gonna get uh, to a nice medium heat. I'm just gonna put a little pat of butter maybe a half a teaspoon. And I'm gonna get my eggs ready here. I'm gonna crack them into a separate bowl. You never know when you're gonna get a bad egg, and believe me, there are bad eggs. So we're gonna start with uh, those in a separate container. Looks great. And I just wanna make sure that, that butter melts. All right, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the egg right in the middle. And I'm going to take just a knife and I'm going to poke the yolk. Just prick it a little bit. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I would say maybe two teaspoons of water. I'm going to cover that and I'm going to let it rip. So that is one quick, easy, and simple way of making a poached egg. I'm going to show you the second way, which is probably a little bit more traditional. I'm gonna take a nice hot pot of boiling water. Ah, oh, muffins are done. Not quite as toasted as, as I'd like, so I'm gonna put those in just a little longer. And to the water, I'm gonna add just about one teaspoon of vinegar. The vinegar is just gonna help the eggs stay nice and tight. So I'm gonna get that going by swirling the water. I wanna get a nice circular motion, just keep that going that way. And then I'm gonna just drop this in very slowly. Just like that. And when that's cooked, it's gonna be nice and tight and it'll be shaped just like a nice egg. And uh, we're good to go. Breakfast time at my house and I really like a good, nice toasted English muffin. And um, instead of Instead of using a sauce like a, you know, a butter sauce or instead of doing a hollandaise sauce, I'm just gonna put a couple of nice pieces of white cheddar cheese right on that muffin. And, oh, look at that. That looks like a perfectly cooked egg. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it just right on top there. And now, My other poached egg. Perfect. Love it. It's gonna go right on top just like that. And just a little bit of salt. And of course, pepper. And here is the, here is the true test of a perfectly cooked egg. Yep, you got that nice runny yolk. So delicious. Now the true test, how does it taste? Mm. Perfectly toasted muffins. The eggs are nice and runny. The cheese just gives it a really good flavor. I would say this is a breakfast success. So for this and other recipes, go to my website at portionyourplate.com or jacobbustos.com. Find my book on Amazon. It is called When Food Is Your Frenemy. Enjoy.